welcome. There's Primo. That's right. He's making his rounds. What are you going to harvest, Primo, huh? What are you looking for over there? Leave me alone, I'm busy farming. Actually, I'm harvesting a couple of these pups here. This is a dwarf, allegedly a dwarf Namwa banana. I got it from Pete at Green Dreams, and I'm gonna harvest three of the pups. I have five right now. And so I'm gonna go ahead, get digging, and come back when I'm a little bit closer to having this out, I actually have two right here. I'll probably start with this one. <laughs> so this is crazy primo. So let me start digging this out. And again, I'm capitalizing on having an existing banana tree. Real quick, when I first bought this from Pete, this center one is what I had and it was about the size of this right here. I planted it and almost immediately I got two pups, the two outer ones. From there, I've been removing the smaller ones uh, now I'm at the point where I've got to get rid of three out of the five and what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to plant them over by my shed and I'll eventually put up some gutters and have the water come down to the banana circle. So let me go ahead and start capitalizing on the gold pups I got here so I have more banana plants. All right, I'll come back as I'm a little further along in digging this out and probably throwing the ball to Primo. What do you got, Primo, huh? All right, so here's the harder part right here. Separating this. So, now, where are you? Okay, what I've got to do, I've got to come back and cut these roots off. We'll clean this and we'll let this go ahead and scab over this primo. He's such a pain in the ass. Let's go ahead and trim these off. Oh boy, I'm sorry about that, but this is what I keep telling you all about. Primo. I'm just going to rinse this off. Make sure we're in good shape here. Okay. <laughs> there he is. He's getting exhausted already. He's killing me here today. So I was able to take my knife and just clean up any of the loose pieces. We're in. Looks really good now here. Uh, I've removed any of the lower stuff that might have been a little soggy. So now I'm going to. Put this along the house on the gravel and we'll give it two days and we'll see how it's looking as far as uh, scabbed over so this is the area here i guess we want to get scabbed then i could plant that directly into the soil okay i've just finished harvesting out these two other pups all right we're going to go take them over where the others are and clean them up. So <laughs> there's Primo, he's at it again. Um, I was just covering back up, right? So where I cut these off, the base of the corm, I put the soil back over it. And now I'm taking my branches and, which are from the banana plant and the, uh, these pieces here are from the Mexican sunflower. So again, that's around the base, that's kind of the chop and drop. Let me go ahead and move these over where we can clean them up.
Here we go. All right, here we go. Now, I forgot to mention yesterday, you have to trim the leaves off. And when I set this down, let me just clean that edge up a little bit. When I set this down, I'm gonna want this edge to be the exposed edge, or excuse me, the edge facing upwards. These are the ones that I did yesterday. You could start to see it's starting to scab over. I did remove the leaves. I just forgot to show you that yesterday. So full disclosure, there are two types of pups, okay? You can see this one has a lot more roots than uh, the other one that I just had harvested along with this. I need to get them out anyway, because one just sucks up the water. Um, we'll see how it does. All right, so again, not all of these are going to probably uh, <laughs> survive, but I've got to cut them out anyway, so we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead and trim these roots off here. Now, as I said, later today, I'm going to head over by the side of the, <clears throat> the shed and get that cleaned out and ready to plant these. Yeah, don't forget, clean your tools up, right? The thing my father taught me when I was a kid, you clean your shovels, especially get the dirt off, and they'll last a lifetime. I still have a shovel that was my father's. So it's probably 60 plus years old. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna get to work and uh, start cleaning out by the side of the shed. Getting ready. Yesterday was Friday. Today's Saturday. You see they're starting to scab over already. I just wanted to get the rest of these out of the ground and cleaned up. I, I ran out of time yesterday. These scraps, by the way, I'll throw on my compost, right? Never waste any of your yard clippings. I'll come back in a couple of days and I'll show you how I'm going to plant these out. I do want to say a special thank you to my friend Pete and mentor, another one of my mentors, over at Green Dreams TV, you can check his channel out on YouTube. He also uh, does edible landscaping, and he has a nursery, Sand Hill Farm, in Spring Hill, Florida. <clears throat> Again, I just want to say thank you to Pete. He's been very generous with his time. He's, uh, he's gifted me some plants since we've uh, formed our relationship, and he gave me some pointers on how to harvest these pups and get them to scab out. I didn't know that if it wasn't for Pete. So I do want to say thank you. I'm sure I'm making some mistakes here <clears throat> and uh, he could correct me at another time or put some comments at the bottom of my video. But I do want to say thank you. This is a journey. You have to start somewhere and you learn by doing. Okay, here we are. Today's Tuesday, and I've made a decision based on how cold we've gotten. I think we're December 8th today. I'm putting my pups into pots. I'm going to thoroughly water them in, and I'm going to put them inside my greenhouse. They'll stay in the greenhouse, I'm going to say probably to the end of February, early March. At which point, I'll come back. You can see I've cleaned all this out as I talked about. And at the end of this video, I'll include some footage of me cleaning this out. Doing some work in the compost bins. But I think I might do a, a banana circle. Possibly here. Uh, so, in the meantime, these will sit in the greenhouse through the winter. And later today, Stacy's going to run out and get some paint for the shed. i got to caulk it prep some areas. I did pressure wash it the other day. So I'll get this shed painted up. In the meantime, the ground is prepped for the most part. This is good soil right here. I've used this as a place where I've composted a lot of stuff over the years. It's got charcoal in there. As I said, I want to give these a good water. 
I'm going to drench them and let them drain a little bit, and then we'll go into the greenhouse. All right, I'm sure some of you are going to ask, what have I used as far as my soil? So I've got some of my compost that I've made. And so I did equal parts of my compost with peat moss, perlite, and vermiculite. So again, the one thing I wanted to ensure is that I had soil that would drain well. And probably once a month I'll fertilize these plants. Alright. So we'll see how these do. All right? If they don't survive through the winter or some of them were not the ideal pups for transplanting, that's okay. I'm sure by the time the spring rolls around, I'll have a few more and I could put them directly into the soil, which was my goal. So I've done a lot in the last couple of days. I actually even pressure cleaned the outside of the greenhouse, the plastic. I did it very carefully, obviously. Um, so as I said, I'm going to, at the end of this here, I'm going to include some footage. It's for my nephew Camden. He loves watching this stuff. So if any, anyone else is interested, feel free to watch along. It's just me doing some chores around here. I, I get on the John Deere tractor. I'm doing some work in my compost bins. I moved, oh, I don't know, maybe close to a ton of pavers that I had laying around, and I had to move soil. I had extra compost. It's over by the bin. I'll mix that in as I do my compost. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to head into the greenhouse. It's a pain in the ass, right? I'm going to head into the greenhouse. You call the last video, or the one before, I did some seeds in a smaller container and I'm going to start pricking those out and get them into uh, some smaller pots that'll be uh, getting ready to put them into my raised garden beds. So leave me alone. I'm busy farming. I got a lot more to do today. I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. those tags all right long overdue I'll turn the compost so I've Finally turned over my compost bin here. A little overdue. And I'm putting some browns and greens. So leaves, all kinds of waste from my food forest, greenhouse, all ends up in these compost bins. And they get turned every couple of months. And I'll eventually use this in my raised garden beds 
Okay. grabbing some Mexican sunflower to stick on my compost. I'll add some nitrogen to it. I like to do this when I have an abundance. It's that easy now. When I get them over to the compost bin, I'll break these down so they're smaller. <laughs> 